Hello. I've just been fixing up the electrical box here because we had a power outage. Now, hello and welcome to a new video. Today we'll be doing another game of Mountain Lane Heritage Railway. And if we go back this way, so this is the carriage shed. As you can see, if you step on this button, a carriage will appear, should appear. So, yeah, um, that's just because of my internet. But as you can see, I've shunted together a rake of about seven carriages, I'd say. And now I'm going to take them through a few stations. So I believe this is one end of the line, um, and then the other end's over this way somewhere. But hopefully it should be a really good run. So I'm not sure which engine I want to use. I'm thinking, like, one that's real in real life, like Prince or Dolok. But, um, I used Prince last time, and what I can tell from that is that Prince doesn't like reversing because it likes to wheelie. So, I think I might. Go probably with this this engine here, Thunderbolt, or this engine here, Princess. Prince or Princess? Which one do you think? And if you want me to you to drive any of these engines that you see here, um, here's the diesel as well. That'll come in a minute. But yeah, if you want me to drive any of these engines, including these, anything that's in this shed, and then there's also one up at the up the line a bit. Well, should probably use the stairs. There's this engine here, number ten. Um, looks really really nice, but I'm not sure if that's just a model or if you can drive it and it's got a respawn button and a delete button so I'd say it's drivable but you don't know till you try it anyway I think I've made up my mind and I'm going to go for um, I'm going to go for Hazel which is this nice green engine um, now the matter at hand. Um, so yesterday I tested positive for COVID-19 um, and I'm not that thrilled about it. So apologies if I'm breathing quite heavily. Um, so anyway, let's get into Hazel and oh no, it's Audrey. Whoops. There's an there's an engine very similar to this um, on another railway game, and I always get them confused. Anyway, so yeah, let's get the second trip of the somewhere of the Mountain Lane Heritage Railway experience going. Has this engine got any music or any features? Nothing button one, nothing button two. Ah, nothing button three. But, let's whistle. Okay. Uh, it sounds a bit glitchy, but let's go. And off we go in Audrey. This is a really nice engine. Look at that. I love how the developers have put the um, all the separate little bolts and rivets 
into the into the engine it looks really good because in some railway games um, they just have these not very well built engines and if you if you even drive over some points in them it just derails but these engines they work brilliantly I might try and contact the developer and see if I could um, see if we could do like a series together of Mountain Lane Heritage Railway because I know there is a I know there is a um, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> this is what COVID does to your brain. Not really. Um, but I think that it would be really good to have a developer pair up with this channel and try and get this game some publicity and get the channel off the ground. Let's just all right. Let's just wait here for a few seconds. Wait for all the passengers to get on. Mhm. Mm you know them passengers. Okay, I think we're set to go. Let's go. Off we go, right to the middle of Mexico. I'll probably have to change the points. Um, and yes, the avatar problem hasn't been fixed yet. So, that's why I'm going to try and keep it in first person while I'm going around on the trains. But yeah, are we clear of the station? Yes, we are. So... Let's bring up the speed a bit, because we can now. Here we go. And let's go. So this was built in 2019, this engine. And it's a patent of the Mountain Lane Works. That's why as Mountain Lane Works slapped on the side of its tank. Let's just have a look at this. It's a really nice game, it's just my internet that's letting me down. Um, I really do like this game, but with the new textures as well. Um, like this new, well, not this bit here, but this bit of grass here. Just adding that 3D element to Roblox has really helped it. Because, like this grass, there'll probably be some on my other side, yeah. Look, at the edge when it's meeting the tarmac there um, there's actually no 3D elements so it makes the game look a bit dishevelled but I appreciate that this is a work in progress so it's all okay what's this? Are you already at a station? Or a bridge? Oh. 
Let's try and startle this guy. <laughs> yeah, that waterfall could do with a bit, bit of a better model, but... There we go. Uh, if you want to friend me on Roblox, my name is Jeffy Boy 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 One. If you want to see that, it's right there. Pause the video now, and then my avatar will pop up. Uh, it's all lowercase, and it's just got one letter, one number after it. Anyway, so I might tell you. Um, or ask you when I'm doing a video if you want to join in I'm kind of do something to add a bit of well, multiplayer to it because I know Roblox is a multiplayer platform but quite a lot of the players don't speak when they're playing so that's kind of a bit like, it's not I mean, it's really good, but at the same time, it's really bad because you can't really communicate. Then you end up just whistling, trying to get people to move like this. Anyway, so this is... That's the problem. And then if you're just trying to politely ask someone to move to move it doesn't it doesn't come across as that because there's no kind of nice sounding whistle i mean all the whistles sound nice but they're not very friendly whistles they're kind of get out my way kind of sounding whistles and i know that's what trains are supposed to sound like but a few few trains are like um like in somewhere Wales yep some trains have a few different whistles and that's what makes somewhere Wales really good now is this just a bridge or is it the end of the line yeah here's a bridge um I think I see a station, so let's just whistle over the top. Nice. That waterfall's really nice. It's quite blocky though. I love the detail on this bridge, so if you look here, it's got a proper texture. Proper stones. Anyway, here is a station. I want to stop at the platform. Oh. There we go. Let's go in. There we go. So, this is about the video length that I'd like. Quite a short video, just because... Um, otherwise my computer doesn't cope very well. But, but I think I showed you this... This poster on here, um, which I found quite funny, because it's a tiger, and I quite like tigers, but it's just those little details like this, and even the little kind of grains of stone or sand in the bricks looks absolutely brilliant, but yeah. So, if you want to see more on my channel, subscribe. Um, please give this video, let's say, 20 likes. 
if that's possible. Um, and if you want to, please, please turn on notifications if you really want to, so you don't miss out on another video. Okay, that's brilliant. Thank you, and goodbye.